guys, it's your boy Coley Cole. Today is January the 28th, and you know what that means. We have seven more days until the Super Bowl from for the Philadelphia Eagles versus the uh, New England Patriots, all right? So, obviously, we don't have football. Well, I guess if you can have the Pro Bowl today, I mean, I guess we do got uh, football, but who watches the Pro Bowl like that? But anyway, um, I'm here today. I'm still riding high from that Eagles win. Uh, I've been talking a lot of shit at work. Uh, it's been a busy week, but it's been a good week because my team, the Eagles, won. So uh, I just want to talk about the fans of Philadelphia because I know there's been a lot of uh, video out there of people complaining about the Eagles fans and they were throwing bottles at Vikings fans and punching horses. So that was like one of the top Eagles stories of the week. Uh, coming in to this uh, Super Bowl. So, first off, I want to say uh, I don't condone violence, but people know that Philadelphia fans can be rowdy. Now, although I'm not that type of person to be throwing uh, bottles and punching horses, which that was really idiotic of that dude for from uh, for hitting that horse and got his ass whipped by the police. But um. The Vikings fans, they came into Philadelphia. They was talking shit. Um, they had a pep rally at the art museum, which is fine and all. But then when you go there and you dressing up the Rocky statue, which is an iconic figure in Philadelphia, even though it's uh, fictional, um, dressing them up all in purple gear, well, purple towel and a yellow, well, I think it was a yellow towel and... Um, in purple too, whatever. I forgot the colors, but um, you're gonna have problems, Vikings fans. So, so a lot of people were talking about old oh, Philly fans, uh, Rowdy throwing beer cans at the Viking players, and well, on while they was on the bus or whatever. But I just want to say, you started this. You was warned before you came to Philly not to be doing some dumbass shit, and there you go doing the stuff that they warned you about not to do, which the video of that Rocky statue went viral. A lot of fans was pissed off about it, um, including myself. But like I said before, me, I don't care. I mean, they they have their right to do whatever they want to do. But there are a lot of Eagles fans out there who uh, take that shit really personal. And you got you, what you saw is what you got. You got this frontal fan throwing bottles and punching horses <laughs> and doing all kinds of crazy shit. Throwing bottles at fucking the bus when the Vikings was leaving. So that's your guys' fault. So apparently the Vikings fans are gonna have some type of committee for uh, to do the same uh, thing for Philadelphia fans. So one thing I want to say about that is that. Um, yeah, although Philly fans are going to be there in Minnesota, but most of these fans are is, is not just in Philly. Um, I'm currently in VA, although I, I am from Philly. I am from Philly. Um, you got people whose fans in California, uh, overseas, probably Texas, whatever. So it's not just going to be Philly fans at this Minnesota stadium. So there's reports coming out of Minnesota talking about uh, uh, people, Eagles fans trying to make reservations and they're denying their reservation because they're fans. So uh, because of what happened uh, in Philly last week. So I just, uh, it is what it is. I mean, like I said, I don't condone the violence, but you guys, Minnesota Vikings fans was warned. So that's all I got to say about that. I'm ready for this week. To start and to be over with to get to next Sunday. Um, I want to have a reaction for that. Uh, I'm supposed to have a Super Bowl party, so it's going to be lit at my house. So I'm just saying. Anyway, I'm Coley Cole. I hope you like my little discussion, my feelings on this uh, topic of these Philadelphia Eagles fans. And I'm ready to see what's going to what's the outcome gonna be for this game. And of course, my boys is gonna win that shit. All right, I'm Coley Cole, I'm out.